All right, guys, so we're talking about short offense, snap down, attacking the turtle and going behind the turtle. So when we're out here, when we do a snap down, we have to get him in a squared stance. A couple ways to do that, square him up, because we want his head leaning over. We can also do a quick kouchi, which gets him in a square. So when we do a snap down, assuming he's in a square stance, heads out. When we snap it down, we don't want full contact. We don't want to be strong. We don't want to try to go and push. That's not going to work. We want to have a little distance, snap to create momentum. So we can grab it, we can do it here, we can do it on the head. So when we snap it down, it goes right to a tripod. He's always going to go to a tripod, a police, if he's a good wrestler, or jiu-jitsu player, or judoka, because he doesn't want to go down. So we're out here, he's squared, and snap down, right here. So from this position, I can go to the front headlock, I slide to a knee, and I go double pits. He tries to back away, I can control him. So from this position, I'm going to bring him down. I'm just going to pull him the double pits right here. So from here, front headlock, grab the chin, take a V grip. Now watch what I do. I come up, I look perpendicularly over the shoulder, I take my right hand, and I stick it in here for the drag. Try to push up, he can't, and I walk and I walk. And I tap the turtle right here. One more time. One more time. Do it from this position. Here. So he's in a squared, he's in a staggered stance. One leg out. Coach. Snap down. Double pits. Break him down. Front headlock. V grip off the knees. Look. Arm drag. Walk, walk, walk. Down behind, and I can attack the back right there. Ready to do? 